What is up YouTube? Thrift School over here outside the thrift store. We're gonna head inside, see what we can find to buy and sell online, and switch it up there. <laughs> Hopefully we find some really cool stuff. I'm excited. It's uh, just after four, I think they close at six. So we have some time in here. So first things first, we're gonna walk on back to the board games. I grabbed two little video games in the very front of the store, but there was nothing really special there, so we skipped right over that. We wanna head to the toys. Look at how much stuff they have today. This is awesome. Lots of great new things I haven't seen before. I saw this Burger Sumo game. It wasn't worth anything, sadly. I'd love, I, I would've loved to pick that up. It's just so unique. Same thing with this really cool Batman versus Superman RC, like, plane i thought that'd be worth something but it wasn't you know there just wasn't too much on this shelf that was really popping out to me this axis and allies was really cool for six bucks we do end up grabbing that but i want to keep walking down the aisle and show you guys the electronics before we make our way back to the games so over here on the electronics side you can see the price is twenty dollars for these dvd cd changers and players and things like that um, prices aren't too great we got a bunch of macbooks over here fifty dollars forty five dollars um, you can see it circled as is on each one of these that one has a password lock missing some keys i don't know sixty dollars for a playstation 3 i was so tempted now as is was circled on it you want to look for the four usb ports on the front this one only had two that means it's backwards compatible with playstation 2 games if you have one with the four usb ports definitely keep an eye out for that those are worth really good money like around two hundred dollars or more but Sadly, that one wasn't. When things are circled as is in the store, it usually means there's something wrong with them that they tested in the back. And uh, there was no controller. There was no way for me to really fully test it. No game for me to put in it to see if it works, see if it reads the game. So I ended up leaving it. I wasn't going to take a $60 gamble. If it did work fully, that's a great deal. This boombox back here I've sold before for almost a hundred dollars I had to leave it it was 13 bucks missing the antenna in really rough shape so I just left it same thing with this oxygen 25 keyboard fifty dollars is a little too high it's just out of my price range but those sell really well well not just out of my price range it's way out of my price range but those things sell really well now we're gonna move back over to the toys and the games I got this really cool inflatable Spongebob and I see this Spongebob tie here I wanted to get it just just because it felt like a Spongebob kind of day but I'm never gonna sell the tie so I left the tie but I did grab the inflatable Spongebob as well as a couple board games now you can see these aisles are jam-packed with games so many of them so what I do is I just scan through as many as I can and I just start filling my cart with new ones used ones whatever seems to be worth it to sell online I don't check all the pieces right away because if I did it would take me forever to go through each one while I'm standing in the aisle what I like to do is throw them in the cart go to a corner of the store and then after I already filled my cart up then I count through all the pieces I'm able to go through everything real fast back here and then carve out some time to do all of that which works out really well for me I just find the quietest corner of the store and I'll show you exactly how I do this I find a game that I've never heard of or seen before I scan it in with the Amazon seller app and it'll pop up and this one didn't pop up <laughs> so that means it's probably not on Amazon it could just be some weird third-party game that's not really worth anything so let's try it with something else let's grab this electronic kerplunk game this is actually something I've never seen before so we're gonna scan this one in with the same app just hit up that barcode right there and you guys will see this one should pop up and it didn't <laughs> so you can see there's a sticker over the barcode we are having some issues here. all right so quick interjection guys we are back at the house real fast and i just wanted to show you exactly how this is supposed to work you scan it in with the amazon seller app this game i know should pop up and there we go it's this one right here we'll open it up and you guys can see it'll show the price what it sells for how much your fees are and how much you're gonna make it's a shame those two didn't work in the store, but that's what you run into when you're thrifting. Now let's get back to the video. This is things that you'll run into when you're scanning. So that is 
uh, kind of an idea of how I do it. I scan things, I fill the cart up, and if nothing shows up, we just go to the corner of the store and type it all in. It is a pain in the butt, but I do make some really good money doing this. Look at this cart. It is so full. This car is beyond full. It's going to take me a while to go through it all, but I'm okay with that. And at the end of this video, I'll show you guys everything I picked up. I didn't end up getting all of that, but take a look at this. This Pikachu sleeping bag. It has ash on it and Pikachu. I thought it was going to be worth some great money. I looked it up. $13 seemed high. It's selling for about 20 to 30 bucks on eBay. What a shame. If this was, you know, $3, I would have purchased it because of how cool it is. I was looking for a date on there. Couldn't find a date, but really cool sleeping bag. And then right next to this sleeping bag, again for $13, is this awesome vintage Mickey Mouse one. There is a all the characters and a massive Mickey on it. I thought this was really cool as well, but for $13. I had to leave them. It just, I, there was no money to be made, sadly, and I don't sleep in sleeping bags anymore. <laughs> and right before we head out, I saw this cool AccuSplit timer. It worked. Everything on it is great. It's definitely a bolo to look out for. They wanted 40 bucks. It was half off, so $20, still too much. They do sell, you could see right here, for 50 eh, ish dollars. So at $20, that's 50 with free shipping. Yeah. All right, guys, we are home right now. Still got the Christmas tree up. Also, got a little puppy right there. Hey, you wanna say hi, Soph? No? She's not even looking. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, everything is still out in the car. So, we're gonna go take a look. Um, I haven't pulled out of the car. This is like a couple days later, so it's still sitting in there. But there's a lot of value in there and I'll go over it. I'm not gonna pull everything out. It's freezing outside, so I'm gonna do a quick overview, show you guys some of the highlights. Um, let me let Sophia outside. What, you, want, you gotta go out? Okay. There you go. Good girl. So yeah, we're gonna head out to the car now, go through everything. Again, there's a lot in there. Um, I've been, selling so much stuff on eBay and Amazon lately and packing things and listing things and cleaning and testing that I haven't even had time to pull my thrift haul out of the car. It's kind of crazy when you think about it. Uh, I'll give you guys a quick sneak peek before we go to the car of a massive haul of stuff I picked up. Um, this video should be coming soon, I'm just waiting. I bought out a video game store, so this is a quick preview. I don't know if I've shown it in a video yet, I might have, but we got more stuff in here that I was finally able to bring in. So many consoles, so many controllers, so many accessories, just so much stuff. And not just consoles, controllers, and accessories, but games too. Lots of good ones. So that video should be coming semi soon. Really good highlights in here. And yeah, but let's head out to the car now. And I want to show you guys everything I picked up. Lots of great stuff. Let's go. This is everything still in the back of my car. It's pitch black out here. I'm using a flashlight just so you guys can see everything. I did end up getting a good amount of stuff. And this is everything fully counted besides that Monopoly game. I hate counting Monopoly games at the store because of how much money they're supposed to be and all the little pieces. So I just do it at home. And if it's incomplete, well, we only lost $2.00 but this is everything we ended up picking up. Still so much stuff. I did pretty, pretty good here. As you guys can see, there's some winners. There's still some hidden down here. Ticket to Ride, Scrabble, Watch Your Mouth. Really good things. This Harry Potter was really good. I'll pop a couple prices, a couple of the highlights up here on the screen for you. The Monopoly game, if it's complete, it's selling for really good money. That Axis and Allies, I counted all the pieces in the thrift store. It took a long time, and that's why I gave up on the Monopoly. But Axis and Allies sells really, really well. The Tripoli. I just purchased one of those a couple videos ago, guys, and this one too is selling really well, as you can see. Carcassonne, I'm restricted on Amazon. I can't sell it on Amazon, but I could sell it on eBay. I'll pop the price up on Amazon, just so you guys can get an idea. I paid 99 cents for it. It's selling really well. Smart Mouth, uh, Big Bang Theory, lots of really good things. And the last one I'll pop up for you guys is this Harry Potter game, this Hogwarts game. I only paid three bucks for it, and it's going for some great 
money. I'm gonna make an awesome amount of money on this. Oh wait, last one. I wanna show you guys this. This Ozobot, really weird robot toy. Gonna make an insane amount of money on that as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions at all. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. This is Thrift School, signing out. See ya.